Hey guys, I'm Captain Duck and this is a classic and um, it's also a sort of Halloween special. It is the Addams Family and it's uh, the old Super Nintendo version of the Addams Family. Which is, um, well, the one version I really bought back in the day. This is uh, a game from the back in the day when, well, everyone was on the Super Nintendo or the, uh, or the Genesis slash Mega Drive and making their own little platformer game. And, um, this one is well, it's, it's a pretty awesome one, and um, it's, it's pretty short. I think I'll be trying to beat it, which might make me take me more than an hour. But then I'll I, I'll split up the video in multiple parts. But uh, we'll see. And um, of course, you're hearing the awesome Adams Family music. And Sony is a really old thing. But um, you know what? Let's get into the game. Let's just start. And. Uh, do some things. Here we are at the Adams residence. And we are uh, Gomez Adams, of course. And, um, do we even need to explain the Adams family? They, <laughs> they have been around for a long, long time. And, um, a really long, long time. The, the first Adams family uh, videos and films and stuff like that series, I think, has been in black and white and uh, been around for ages. And um, well, uh, this one actually, this based is this game is based on the 1991 movie because uh, yeah, there's also tons of Adams Family movies and um, and series. There uh, they were animated series, there were real life action movies. And uh, anyway, this one is based on that movie. And um, well, while I've started, we've looked around the residence and I've found a couple of one-ups because why not get some one-ups? And um, I'll be actually be getting a whole lot more because <laughs> there's quite a lot to go around in the beginning part here. Um, let's get ourselves some more one-ups. Why not? Because uh, here is one of the secret areas of the game. You wouldn't know this, but uh, well, back in the day when I got this, there were also a lot of Nintendo Power magazines or Club Nintendo Extras or Club Nintendos or whatever. And that showed you that uh, here there is a secret area and here there is another secret area <laughs> and here is a well almost developer room which completely cheats the game almost there's um, a lot of stuff in here there's a the room with um, all the hearts you can get hearts is your life meter by the way um, here is a room with a lot of money and also all the weapons you can get well, that, uh, this will make me show all the weapons easily enough that's, uh, that's a nice thing um, so let me show them. Uh, here on top is a sword, a fencing sword, which Gomez uses in the, the Adams family. You can use it as a sword. It's pretty simple. Um, and another one up, why not? And uh, here's a golf ball, another weapon which you can get, which lets you throw golf balls, which destroy basically everything in your path and are the best weapon in the game, probably. Um, let's uh, get some more stuffs. Because in here, there is a free hat. Uh, taking the lower door also returns you to here, by the way. And anyway, with this hat, you can get things like these shoes. The shoes make you faster, and uh, I've gotten a couple of them now, and I'm pretty fast at the moment. Don't think they name they make you jump higher though. Uh, also, there is. Another room here on top, and uh, here there are a bunch of extra lives like 12 or 20 of them. <laughs> 32 extra lives now, so yeah, that um, having extra lives will not be a problem. Um, also, also almost 100 coins, and 100 coins is also an extra life. So, uh, yeah, lives, no problem. And, uh, well, that can be nice because there are some tougher parts in the game, but with this much extra lives, I should be able to manage. Now, um, we only have two hearts at the moment, and we can actually increase this. Also, by the way, this is a little hub area of the game. Uh, all the doors here basically lead to a different areas. And, um, first let's go to this door and get ourselves a very easy to get uh, extra heart because um, here there's a 
spooky music. There's a, actually boss music in here. You won't know that yet, but later you would. And on top of the tree is there this birdie. And if I beat him, then uh, I will get an extra life. And uh, yeah, you can jump on him, or you can use the golf balls. The golf balls use a whole do a lot more damage. Oh, he hit me as well. Anyway, if you beat him, you get a hard power up and uh, a access password. If you beat the boss, you get a, a password, and you can uh, use it in the, if you ever want to continue. Anyway, now I have three hearts, which will make the game a little bit easier. Um, and uh, there's two other hearts to get, and let's get those first because the other areas have uh, Adam's family members. Oh yeah, that's the story of this game. All your family members have been hidden up somewhere, or been um, kidnapped and are somewhere in the game. And uh, here's the area we need to go to later. If we have found all the, the family members, then things will happen in here. And we'll be able to continue. Um, I think we need to go here now, if I remember right. The kitchen. Yes. And um, here we can get an extra heart. Anyway, um, yeah, we need to find all those family members which are hidden somewhere around the Adam's family house. And, uh, oh yeah, there's also little boxes with things like this, uh, the hand is called thing. And, um, here in the freezer, there is a cold heartless man somewhere. Or not heartless, but cold anyway. And, uh, we need to kill him. And well, he isn't har uh, heartless. And also, you can pretty die pretty fast to the penguins. <laughs> so I'm guessing this won't be a no death run, but uh, yeah, I was kind of expecting that anyway. Opa. There we go. And uh, well, this game does use the mechanic from if you jump on enemies, then you jump higher. And uh, that is nice to know. And it's needed for a couple of puzzles. And uh, let's gets to this little penguin area infested area because damn those penguins oh, and that's the end of our star uh, because yeah that power up was our basic star power up though you don't even get points if you use that Ooh. Well, get through this area slippery slopes here are some tougher jumps in the game oh yeah and there's even some hidden points oh yeah and the ceiling is hurtful and I shouldn't jump into enemies. <laughs> oh well. I wonder how, how long this tongue run is going to take. Because, uh, yeah, I know this game isn't that long. Because when I bought it way back in the day, so yeah, you can slip here forever basically. Uh, anyway, when I bought it back in the day, um, I finished it the next day. <laughs> it's uh, that was kind of a bummer, and I didn't like the game. Well, because of that, but um, well, it's still a, a nice enough game. Looking back on it, it's just uh, not all that hard, and uh, well, especially not when you have a Nintendo Power Stash mag type magazine where you know and you know where all those extra lives are. Without those, yeah, the game might be a little bit harder. Uh, let's jump, jump on to the ceiling. Okay. Next area. Um, I see steps. Mm. Oh, that was a problem. I have one nice thing to note: those spikes. Uh, they killed me now, but they aren't insta kill. So um, yeah, they uh, will matter. Um, oh, now I bump my head on the ceiling, and of course there. Are Spikes on the ceiling. Uh, so the spikes, as you saw there, they aren't insta kill. So yeah, no such Mega Man type bullshits in this game. And uh, that's also why it's easier. And um, I really need to need to start playing better. Uh, we're going to lead a lot of lost lives. <laughs> um, come on. Oh, yeah, you need to press B or something to continue from that screen. Still awesome tune though. And uh, speaking of tunes, yeah, there are some awesome musics in this game. Uh, 
guess you can't make the jump uh, falling from the spikes. Oh boy. This will also be a shot of Voided Run, I guess. Oh well. Okay. Wait a minute. Uh, well, I'm dead again. <laughs> oh fuck. <laughs> I was trying to show you that if you use the shoulder buttons, you can inch a little a tad forward. Uh, if you use R or B or uh, L or R even, then um, you move a little bit like this. And you can use this to set yourself up for platforming. Like this. And hey, that actually worked. Okay, now let's not die and continue this area. Okay, that went perfectly. <laughs> okay. I think we should also be getting close to the boss of the area. Oh, that worked. Oh, come on. Yeah, ice physics in this game. Fuck. Ice physics in this game. Uh, they are a thing. Lots and lots of slippery. This is. It's probably even worse slipping than Mario. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's worse slipping than Mario. And uh, that makes this area one of the harder ones, but it's also pretty short and. Uh, Reward is an extra heart, and we can use that. We can definitely use that. Having more hearts will keep me alive longer. Um, rolling snowballs. Uh, best just continue. Come on. Mm. Okay. Oh yeah, and here's, there's a secret area. With uh, a power up because yeah we weren't slipping enough already. Uh, do a small jump here. And uh, should not run into enemies. Also, I guess having the shoe power up also counts as having another hit. Yeah, the golf ball and the sword do count as having another hit. Oh dear. And uh, well, I guess the shoe counts as well. I think we can make it from here. Definitely can. And, uh, come on. Weird, the music is also doing weird things, but that's okay. Ah, uh, yeah, that was part of the loop. And, uh, here we are at the boss. A cold man could make things hot, but take heart. Well, thank you for that thing. Here he is. He only has 4 HP, and uh, we need to jump on him while he is a snowball. And uh, not die. Oh boy, I'm going to make a lot of lives in this run. Fuck. <laughs> oh boy. This isn't going well. That's what we need to do, basically. I think we can maybe make two hits. Still getting a bit used to all the controls. That's one hit. That's two hits. Okay, if I just jump on him in now. Ah, oh, that was very close. That's one. That's two. Basically brute forcing the balls here, but uh, oh well. Uh, snowball right in the face. Brute forcing bosses is the way to go. Come on. <laughs> Every fucking time. Oh man. Oh well, even if we came over one point during the game, fuck. Then uh, I'll be able to get <laughs> a lot of those one-ups yet again. And yeah, this run won't be it unless I manage to pull this off. 
20 lives left, oh boy. <laughs> I wasn't expecting this to go so bad. Also, you need to jump, jump right on his head. <sighs> wow, I'm such a failure. <laughs> Maybe I should practice this game more. I've only done a couple of things to remember me, like where was that... Uh, one up room, I remember that that, ex that was in the game, but forgot where, and uh, I spoiled myself a little on that, and also. Oh, that really should have been it. Fuck up. <laughs> I am the big Adam Family failure. Oh well. I sure am. Damn it! <laughs> uh, how did I ever beat this game on in within two days? <laughs> oh man, after the skillful run, sort of semi skillful run of Balloon Kid doing this, I am very ashamed of myself. Oh well. Oh, I think that's the way, just stand close to him there. There we go, finally. Uh, now I have another uh, heart power up and another little password. And uh, we can get back to the pantry. Uh -huh. Well, now I have four hearts, and doing the other areas will be a little bit easier. Uh, now I could also go to the right here. Oh, you know, yeah. I could from this map, I could also go to the right. That would lead to the area where Granny is at. But let's not do that yet, because there is one other heart we can find, and that's in this area, which I remember as being tough. So, yeah. This will probably be end up, end up being pretty bad. This is uh, the conservatory, and... Uh, Oh yeah, those things were bombs. <laughs> so there was something with these pots. I think you can get into some of them. And uh, yeah, those birds make an annoying noise. Um, yeah, okay, somewhere at the end of this area there is another boss and another heart. Although I have no idea what the boss of this one is. Well, we'll see. Um, okay, those bombs explode on their own, luckily. Trying to get the other hit from that, but I lost more than I should have had in that whole exchange. Also, this might have been one long area instead of multiple ones. Oh, there was stuff with the switch as well there. Uh, luckily, it has save points. Ah, oh, fuck those. Fuck that bomb thing. And, uh, well, there goes my shoe. Luckily, didn't save all too far back. Well, should have jumped on that little birdie, I think. Because reaching that switch is important, if I remember right. Um, you bonk that, something will happen, but I forget where. Hmm. Don't know if it's in the past or if it's in the future. I guess we'll find out. Uh, let's go into this door, I guess. It's one pass. Um. Ah, yeah, that opened this door. Okay, that was the way. So that was why the switch was important. Who, dear? Um no. Where to go? Left or right? If that birdie would come back then Yeah, also that bomb keeps respawning. Because I keep scrolling out of the screen because yeah this has Mega Man like uh no, that birdie doesn't just doesn't come back. Um 
Mega Man like uh, enemy respawning. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, this is going to take multiple videos. Uh, let's just try and continue. Fuck. Hmm. Uh, so anything else I could tell you about this game? Oh, first let's check here. Now we're in the wormy way, and we've turned off another block. Um, well, let's try continue here, whatever. One day we'll reach the end. Uh, so yeah, this game was made by Ocean Software, which is actually a British company, which uh, is dead nowadays, or actually it went up into Infogrames, and uh, later on into Atari, and uh, there might be still be some people working there, but I don't know, but uh, back in the day they made a lot of, oh god, appearing blocks out of nowhere, but uh, yeah, below those things. Uh, they made a lot of <laughs> um, licensed games like this. This is uh, licensed for the movie. Oh fuck! I need, I need to press that. But um, they did a lot of other ones. Fuck! Um, should I press that? Well, let's press it. Uh, let's have it off. I would like another heart now, game. Uh, nope. Oh, I hope it's saved at least. Uh, also, let me check that ocean base because I'm babbling. Um, one second. As I have on my other screen here, a list of video games <laughs> they have made. A lot of those licensed games. Yeah, there we go. Um, all the ones you might have played, like uh, some of the Batman games or um, <laughs> all the Adams Family games. There's also uh, at least Scavenger Hunt, which is like part two of this, but a little bit different. Uh, fuck you, Spider. Ooh, yeah. Rope climbing. Oh, that was another one up, though. Also, I'm already down to 14 one ups. Holy fuck. This I can do for some reason. Hmm. The centipede. Oh. Now I remember these, this boss. Uh, and yeah, now there's three of them. And yeah, don't jump on the head. And stay here on the right side is what I remember. Let's beat this one in one try. Well, if I'm careful like this, then I still die. But I was almost there. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, that was stupid. Come on. Don't be stupid. Just wait until they get here. <sighs> Then do jump on them. And not into them. Okay, last one. There we go. Okay, um here's yes, the area is harder than the boss. And uh what was that done? Oh yeah, there's still little area to go to. And those plants are one of the hardest enemies in the game. <laughs> also, tomato birds or something. <laughs> Whatever you want to call these. Um, I need to do this to get out of the area. Actually, there might be another way to get out of this area as well, but well, the game wants me to go here, so let's do this. Huh? Where did that explosion come from? Oh, what? Hmm. I have no idea what 
Ah, uh, from some explosion on the upper level, I guess. Respawning bombs, be damned. Uh, I bet I need to press this switch. Do you continue? Uh, I have no idea. But, um, oh. We should be able to get to the door from here now. Yes, there we go. And I think this is the exit of the area. No, it's not. Torn pass. Long garden. Hmm. Man. I completely forgot all this. Uh, also hidden 100 point parts. And death. Is there any, something else in the garden that I'm forgetting? I don't think there was another character in here which you need to rescue. So, why am I here, basically? Oh, come on. Hmm, why does the game let you go here? Well, as an exit to having beat the bosses. Um, well, I might have taken a shortcut to those bosses with the little things I did. This might be somewhere else. I have no idea. Oh, come on. Uh, I'm so gonna die. Oh, come on. Yeah. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Why did you turn around there, tomato bird? I hope you saved somewhere near there. No. Uh, come on. And... And it still continues. Uh, well, press the switch when you can. That's something you learned from Mario. Okay, door leads to the graveyard. Oh yeah, and this is the area where you reach Wednesday. And also there's flying, flying fucking pumpkins, which shoot at you. There is another shortcut to this area, and uh, that's the area you route you normally take. I completely forgot that the conservatory led to this as well. Well, while we're here, let's uh, try and find Wednesday. She should be down here somewhere. This nice, happy, happy area. And of course, there's um, fakirs. <laughs> there's uh, Indian Jews floating around right over here. Also, um, I remember there being things down here. Spooky drop. Yeah, I think I just skipped the whole part of the level. Um. Because, yeah, in this game, let's, there are no drops. There are, uh, there are no um, instant death bits. And, uh, well, skipping part of the level is okay because I've been playing pretty damn badly. Pretty damn badly, indeed. So, yeah, there's no uh, enemy chain jumping to get extra lives or something in this game, which is a shame. Ah, oh, man. Let's forget most of this area, though. Um, like, the fact that it even existed here. <laughs> I knew we need to go down the tree one day, but uh, that it was this area. Who knew? Anyway, now I have the sword, and uh, this thing, these twomps, or star twomps, wouldn't kill me. I could actually use it, maybe. Let's try and use it on this enemy. See, I killed it. Wow. Yeah, I'm do need to hit that switch because yeah you do need to hit every damn switch you see. That's platformer logic. Oh we have it keeping the sword. This makes this area a little bit faster at least. And, uh, the storms are pretty fast, normal Mario storms are a lot slower. 
What's that? Oh. Oh, there goes my sword. Oh yeah, those fishes also shoot something. And here is a button, so let's press it. Jester's jump. Maybe I should not have pressed the button. Um, trying to stay... Hmm... North. Uh, so, buttons might be room... Fixed by room, I think they are. And, uh, yeah. <sighs> Doing jumps. And failing at them. The game. Come on. Here we go. Oh. Oh, and I should have ducked there or something. Um. Okay, so anyway, now we know that this is here. <sighs> okay, this button needs to be at the heart version and... Uh, then we can continue. Oh, fuck. Bet we need to press that button, but uh, let's try at least. Yeah, we need to press that button. Now, though, if I die, then I'll need to pro press the lower button again and yeah, straight into that. Should take more care with that little circling enemy. I should take more care with my jumps. Oh, and there we went. <laughs> Nine lives left. I am the suck. Ah, uh, well. Ooh, that went better, at least. And I'm getting the hang of jumping like this again. Yeah, button, press button. <sighs> Come on, no. No, no, no. <laughs> no! <laughs> okay, that one was just not going to happen. Sad thing also is, if I die, then... in game over, then... Uh, I'll have to get back to this area. When, uh, well, we won't have to go through the conservatory. There's the shortcut. And I'll take that, but... Yeah. That would suck. It would be a lot nicer if I just finish this area in one go. <sighs> he died. Come on, game. Jumps. Jumps, jump, jumps. Okay. Uh, that was stupid. Um, we're getting pretty far into the crypt, though. And, uh... Damn it. <laughs> Should be able to get on with this. Uh, let's kill this skull, or let's not kill this skull. Let's skillfully jump on those jesters for some reason. <laughs> yeah, not doing those annoying jumps is a whole lot easier. Oh, and uh, hey, flying hat. That would make things a lot easier, so let's take that. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> it does make things a whole lot easier. There we go. Yeah, you can also take flying hats to other levels, and... Uh, did I just screw myself over? I think I did. Hmm, 
was something with that thing though. I think I really should try... Fuck. <laughs> I pressed it twice. And I'm going to die. And I should have used those to jump up there. Well, best just to die now, I guess, but let's try this at least. And yeah, there we went. Uh, fuck those guys. Okay, now... Ugh. Oh, I can actually make it like that. Okay. Now here. Yeah, maybe try and use him as a way up there, or not. Uh, press button when you see it. Hmm. Could go to the right. There was a golf ball in the top left. And uh, This is also there for a reason. Oh, for some extra monies. You know what? Screw that golf ball. We're going to continue. I'm even failing too much anyway. This won't be a 100% run. <laughs> And I don't think you care much about that. And, uh, fine fish, yeah. These are basically the bullet bills of this game. And, uh, well, let's just waste my shoe power up. And here you actually need to use them to continue. I mean, uh, come on. This is also not the best commentary video I've ever done. Sorry, needed to scratch it there. Ooh. And uh, you could use this to go over here oh, and get some extra points. I don't need it. Because, yeah, we're all doing this for the points, of course. Uh, no way to get up there like this. And, uh, yeah, doing. Going all the way back there for one heart will. And not be worth it. Also, little pushing puzzles like this. Uh, let's just continue. Don't think we need to push that last one. It's more to go back. Uh, hmm. Straight into the ball. We're only at 40 minutes. Uh, you know what? I think we should press that button. Ah, come on. Yeah, here they can really force you to jump on those things. Do not press button. Do press button. Stupid mistakes. Okay, you are on. Now I can continue. There we go. Chamber of walls. Uh, that's not sounding very good. Chamber of buttons, probably. And, uh... Chamber of annoying jumps. How much lives do we have left? Five. Uh, okay, we'll probably need to press this one. And, uh, yeah, more of those fucking jumps. <laughs> yeah, press A button, then go down that, I guess. Or maybe we should not have pressed that. Hmm. Yeah, we should have pressed that. Um, well, here's another jump on the thing to continue. Oh, an extra heart. How nice game. Okay, you can abuse some of these things. Okay. Well, 
And here, if you mess up, you fall into the fire. Thank you, game. Come on. There we go. Straight into the ball. Um, anti room. Well, sounds like we should be getting close to a boss. And, uh, well, bosses of our game have been pretty nice looking, pretty nice big sprites, and been pretty awesome. And I have no idea what boss is going to be here. <laughs> Wow, man. Yeah, this is also one of those games that I've played, well, it's almost maybe uh, probably 15 years ago. It was made in 1992. Uh, released in 1992, I probably got it around there, maybe 1993, being Europe and all. So, uh, yeah, we're now in 2012. That's 20 years later. God damn this. This game is 20 years old. Seriously? Yeah. <laughs> I guess it is. <laughs> Wow. Um, you would not say that. Um, or my calculations are being off because I'm not all that good at math. But yeah, 1992, 2002, 2012. That's 20. <laughs> wow. And uh, uh, rest into the fast swamps. Ooh. That could have gone a whole lot worse there. <sighs> and then I'd run into a little simple gesture area. Enemy like that. Um, here. Well, let's press the button because we can. And um, well, let's try and get that heart. Uh, getting back will be a problem. The Ghastly Goblin. Um, okay. And I guess that's Wednesday down there, and I'm already dead. Mm. <laughs> Let's try and figure out his pattern. Looks like he just does this. Okay. If I just stand on the rim, I'm safe. And uh, jump on him like that, maybe. And I think I can get who? <laughs> A couple of hits in like that. Um, <sighs> come on. Oh, fuck. Uh, stand under him. <laughs> and yeah, if you try to do all these areas with uh, two hearts, it would have been near impossible. You need to get those three hearts right in the start. Oh, come on. There we go. Yeah, the boss wasn't that hard. And here's Wednesday. And, uh, well, maybe we shouldn't have rescued her. Ah, uh, the Adams family uh, being around and... They're all about having, with pain, having fun and stuff like that. Now, uh... Oh. We actually got some <laughs> one-ups to get back. That's very nice view game. And now we're here somewhere in the crypt. Ah, uh, and this is near the top of the... Crypt. But uh, you know what? If we use this, we still have a, quite a way to get back. Let's do something else. Let's start, select, and select again to get to the game over screen. Yeah, on the game over screen, if we uh, go past the door here, we can actually pick up some extra continues. And uh, if we enter this door, we are straight back here. Yeah. So, um,. Well, we're also 45 minutes in. Holy <gasps> fuck, that went terrible. Um, you know what? I'll break the video here. Uh, next video, I think we can beat the game. It's probably not with 11 lives we have been playing this time. Oh well. I'll pause, break the video here. Tomorrow I'll upload uh, more of this game. Yeah. Just what you were waiting for. Well, it's, uh, <laughs> it's your oblig obligatory... Halloween video. I forgot to say Halloween. Ah, bleh. It's just because we don't have Halloween in the Netherlands, although we do now have it. I'll get into it in the next video. See you guys later.